Hey guys, I'm in between product videos right now, but if you're anything like me, you've been waiting for a night like tonight. It seems like ever since I put out my one year video that I did in August, the clouds started to roll in and I haven't seen a clear sky actually since I uploaded that video, so you can blame me for that. But tonight of all nights, it's Halloween night, it's supposed to be crystal clear and I can't wait to get out there and continue some of the projects that I've been working on throughout the summer. And speaking of that, I finally figured out what astrophotographers do during the winter. It was a question I had on my channel uh, last year when I first started, and there's a few things that I got going on. So during our last summer, I just got into the habit of shooting and not editing at the end of the night. I shoot monochrome anyway, so it takes me a while to put together a photo, but when I got into this habit, it's just really easy to get 10, 15, 20 hours on a target, and I'm still going, actually. I think during those winter months where there aren't any clear skies, because last year I had 20 weeks, over 20 weeks of clouds, and I wasn't able to do astrophotography. So I'll be editing during those times. Also, I've been putting together a new rig. I'm really excited for this. I plan on getting a Celestron Edge HD 8-inch, and it's been back-ordered. I've been uh, waiting to buy one since August, but I've been collecting the accessories for it in the meantime. I'm pretty sure I'll see it in the spring, just in time for galaxy season. And you can count on me to make videos about that one because this is gonna be my first SET telescope and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a steep learning curve trying to figure out how to take astrophotos through it at that focal length. But I think I'm up to the challenge. Tonight though, since I've been talking about the Z73 and Z61, I'm gonna shoot through both telescopes tonight. I'm gonna to capture two targets, the California Nebula, which I've actually been working on since the summer, and also a new target, the Horsehead and Flame Nebula, and I'm gonna capture that with the Z61, just because it has a massive field of view. I'm looking for a wider field of view this year, and I think the Z61 is gonna fit the bill. But, I guess the next thing we need to do is wait for the skies to clear, which is supposed to happen in a few hours. Yeah. Okay, it is cold and I'm all set up. I'm really hoping that the weather holds. I got here and I hit dew point like right when I set up, but it's clearing up right now. The plan tonight is to get some data on the California Nebula and when Orion rises, I'm gonna to switch to the Horsehead Nebula. Uh, I've been working on the California Nebula for a while, so Hopefully I'll get like a preliminary stack just so I can see what the HA looks like. And I'm gonna switch to my Z61 later on tonight because I want a wider field of view on the horse head this year. So that's the plan for tonight. That's if it doesn't do over because I'm like right next to a river and then what happens is this whole place gets swallowed up in fog. And I hope it doesn't do that. It's clearing up right now, my subs are looking great, and I think I'm gonna be good for the rest of the night, but I am grateful that it's not raining right now. Oh, uh -oh. it's been going surprisingly well tonight. <laughs> I went from having everything clouded over to pretty much clear where I need it to be, and it's almost 11 o'clock now and I can see Orion kind of peeking up over the horizon so I think I have maybe another hour and then I'll switch to my other refractor. I'm kind of excited to actually get the horse head but my uh, subs on the California Nebula are really really looking good and uh, <laughs> it's cold it's cold it's cold. If I could describe how cold it is it's like I've lost feeling in my body parts or they're about to fall off me right now. <laughs> it's, it's that cold. 
All right, well, it's time. I'm gonna swap my imaging train from my Xenostar Z73 to my Z61. And this is the first time in 2021 that I'm shooting into Orion, so I'm super excited. So I'm gonna work on this here. Whew. Oh man, this thing is, <laughs> this thing is looking so cute. Look at this. It's so tiny, you know? I love it. All right, well, here it is. Tiny and mighty, right? Wait, hold on. That makes it look bigger, right? <laughs> I'm getting my first subs back. Ooh. Wow, it is so cold, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm getting my first subs back from the Horsehead Nebula. Probably gonna stay out here for another couple hours and wait till my face defrosts. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the car, yeah. I think it's pack up and go to bed time. And in the morning, I'm gonna stack these two shots and see how they turned out. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Good morning. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I took the liberty of stacking uh, my subs already and I loaded them up in Photoshop. And what we're gonna do is just do an auto level adjustment. I'm just gonna let Photoshop do its thing and then we'll be able to see what these photos are looking like right now. Now, this is just the hydrogen and alpha data and I've got a long way to go. I still need to add more exposure time to this, but you know, we get to kind of see where we're heading. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm not sure why I'm nervous right now, but I just am. So let's, uh, let's do the auto level adjustment on the California Nebula. All right, you ready? Here we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whoo. I took the California Nebula last year, right? And it did not look like this. This is... This is amazing. And you know, this area right here, I thought that it was like a hole in the nebula and looking at it now, that's, that's definitely dark nebula there. So that's, that's amazing right there. And I got a whole bunch of outer nebulosity here and it's just nice and clean, man. God, that is, that's gorgeous, man. That is so gorgeous right now. All right, uh, let's do the Horsehead Nebula next. All right, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Auto level. Woo! Oh, man. Check that out. Check this out. I'm getting a lot of the uh, nebulosity above the horse head, and that's what I wanted. I, I really wanted that upwards hydrogen alpha gas stretching out into space. And I got a lot of nebulosity around the stars here, too. And the flame nebula looks great. I mean, this is, this is a 61 millimeter refractor, guys. And... Man, it just looks amazing. Oh my goodness, C61 kicking some butt right now. Holy crap. <sighs> Makes it all worthwhile, you know what I mean? Well guys, I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. Uh, I kind of dig this kind of video style. You know, usually I put out short stories or um, as you've seen, I've been doing a lot of product videos and I'm going to continue to do those for sure. But this was fun. Um, definitely going to do more of these as the year goes by, but um, I guess that's it for this one. All right. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.